Hey guys, today's Bible story is about Adam and Eve. Hey guys, welcome back to Twins and Eve. I'm Daniel, I'm David, and I'm Andy. Here on this platform, we share edifying and fun videos for kids and for family too. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can be reminded of every time you post a new video. Also, smash that like button. Let's get back to the video. So, God made heaven and earth. He created everything so beautiful. But then, God needed a man to take care of everything he has made. And so, God created Adam and put him in charge of all the beautiful things he has made. Adam was alone and lonely. He needed a companion. He needed a friend. So, God made Adam to sleep very deep and when Adam slept from Adam's body God created a woman to be his friend and his companion when Adam woke up he realized that he now has a friend a companion a helper and he named her Eve and Adam and Eve started living together in their beautiful home that God made for them the Garden of Eden and so God told them you own everything in this beautiful garden all the plants the animals everything you can do whatever you want you can live as you like but there was a warning god told them of all the plenty fruits in this garden you can take take whatever you like take how many you like but there is one fruit you must never take and that fruit is known as the fruit on the tree of knowledge of good and evil this tree is called the knowledge of good and evil. Whatever fruit you find on this tree, do not eat. Do not touch. But every other fruit, you can eat it. One day, Eve was alone by herself and she started thinking, this fruit that God said we should not eat, why? Why does God not want us to eat it? And then the serpent came and said, Eve, did God really say you should not eat the fruit? Eve said, yes. God said we cannot have the fruit. I wonder why. She told the serpent, God said all this beautiful garden belongs to us. Every tree, every fruit, every animal, we can have whatever we want. But this fruit, we cannot have it. Then the serpent told Eve, Eve, don't mind God. Of course you can have it. You can have whatever you want. That fruit, it tastes so good. And when you have it, you're going to become so wise like God. God does not want you to be wise, Eve. Don't mind God. Go ahead and have a taste of the fruit. Guys, can you guess what Eve did? Yes, you guessed right. Eve obeyed the serpent instead of obeying God. She took the fruit and she even took some to Adam to also eat and disobey God. Adam should have said no to Eve. He should have told Eve, no Eve, God said we cannot have it. But no, Adam allowed Eve to convince him to disobey God. So Adam also took the fruit and he also ate it. This made God really sad because his children that he loves so much and gave them everything decided to disobey him and obey the serpent. Guys, this is exactly how God feels whenever we disobey him. This is exactly how mommy and daddy feel whenever we disobey them. We make them sad just like Adam and Eve made God sad. Not only that, Adam and Eve were also very ashamed of themselves. Whenever we do something bad, it makes us ashamed. But, as you know, there are always consequences for our actions. So Adam and Eve had to face the consequences of their actions. And you know what that consequence was? They were kicked out of their beautiful home in the Garden of Eden. God said, no, you need to leave this garden because you disobeyed me. There are always consequences when we behave badly, when we disobey our parents or when we disobey God. It makes our parents sad. It makes God sad. 
it makes us ashamed and we would also have to face the consequences. We would have to face the punishment. So friends, in order for us not to make God sad or to face the punishment for sin, let us run away from sin. Let us say no to doing bad things. Let us say no to anyone who is trying to convince us to do something that is not right or something that God says do not do or something that our parents say do not do. Whenever anyone tries to convince us to do those bad things, let us say no. I'm going to obey God. I'm going to obey my parents because I am a child of God. And that is the end of our story today on Adam and Eve. Wait. Have you watched the story of Abraham? No? Click the link up here now to go and watch it and learn why God loved Abraham so much and why he was also called the father of faith. See you next time. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.